Did you see that? Yeah, you, you wing over to straight down, but you might not want to be quite that aggressive at first. You want to do more of a flat, just like a round spiral. So we'll try and work up to that slowly, because if you miss that one, it gets ugly. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. You want to be over the water a bit. Rock it to the right. And then, boom. And reverse. Left brake, swing around, and exit. There you go. That's beautiful. And you could just swing that into a little bit more of a circle. And you just start working it up from there. So how do we do a barrel roll? Actually, it's called a loop in this sport, even though realistically it's a barrel roll. So how do you do it? Uh, you don't. <laughs> do not do this without super training. It would just be idiotic to go out and try and push this on your own. But for those supers that know what they're doing, that just need a refresher, I'm gonna rock to the right. I'm going to yank it straight down to the left, straight down, and now I'm going to reverse directions and yank a 360, and then left brake to exit perfectly. Woohoo! And that is how we do the barrel roll. Let's have Tyler do this one more time. Be very careful of that water. You have no depth perception. So make sure you have tons of altitude so that you don't fly into the water. You really can't tell how high you are when looking at the water. There we go, yank it over. And then reverse. Hard all the way around, all the way. No much faster than that. You gotta make it flip around. You don't have time to make a slow turn. It's gotta be a quick uh, change of directions. So as soon as you're heading down towards the bottom, you're gonna reverse it and you gotta really spin it around quite quickly. And you start the spin with, you know, lots of brake on the one side and then you stop the rotation once you're back upright. So you just hit that counter break to then stop the rotation. If you want to look back, I'll do one for you. So rock it a little left, rock it right, yank right to a straight down spiral, hands up, and then yank break all the way around. Left brake, stop rotation, and exit. And that is how we do a loop. Hoorah! Okay, looking good. Even faster, swing it right around. Be very careful on altitude. Nice job, man. That was a nice one, though. That was nice.
Nice. Very nice. You start the rotation with one hand and then stop it with counter break. And try and exit exactly straight up and down. Then once you exit and you're going straight, then you can carry that energy around to the side or you can shoot straight up to dissipate the energy. Stop it and exit. Beautiful, very nice. Clean as can be, man, clean as can be. Very nice. going kind of in a down spiral as opposed to up over the top, but you can just keep reversing directions later and later. So basically at bottom dead center of that dive, just as you pass bottom dead center, that's where you would reverse it to go upside down. So you flip your 180, you dive straight down, and as you swing under and hit bottom dead center, that's where you would reverse it. If you wait just past bottom, that's where you start getting up over the top of your glider. If you pull sooner, then it's safer because you just go into a flat spiral as opposed to an actual loop. And you just inch your way farther and farther and start getting higher and higher now that you have the technique down. Also, the smaller the glider, the easier it will be. So if you go to a 2X, it will be notably easier. 